Alright y'all, I know it's been a minute since I done been on here, and I really do apologize, but um, I was in the process of designing, well not designing, I'm sorry, putting, okay, so someone had reached out to me to design them a scarf, right, for um, a church event, so I did the design, but I designed it in Photoshop and she was like hey can you um put this on canva for me and she was like she has a 13 inch wide printer and um she needed it to be in four pieces and in my mind I'm like four pieces like that's just too much work and I feel like um a lot of people they don't know how to shorten the amount of time of work if that made sense and it's not her it's the people that's teaching on these different platforms like make it easy for people and, and that's what i'm here for so nevertheless y'all i am going to show y'all how you can one take a design that is done on photoshop and how you can bring it to canva if you feel most comfortable with printing from canva i'm gonna show you how you can do that and then yeah and i, I really do hope that y'all are able to take this what i'm about to explain because i just sat here and i just did it and at first i was doing the four thing for her but i'm like no that's just too much work like it should be a quick one two step and i'm about to show y'all real quick this is what you'll do for your printout so i did go on etsy earlier and i have brought this um let me show y'all what i just brought from somebody so i just brought this uh i just brought this this um this stole template this is too much you know nothing against template land shop co but this th th we're not doing all this okay no so what you're going to do is you're going to go to canva right after your design is finished let's say you okay so i'm gonna show y'all i had i'm gonna use one of my templates that i have for graduation is this it no that's not it hold on hold on y'all hold on so i think this is okay so this is one of my templates and i'm gonna click on file i'm gonna make a copy of it and then we're gonna open it up all right so we're gonna say this is this is my design right um the size of this well another size the size of it is five by 42 inches we're gonna switch this to 36 inches and i want to click on continue and then we're going to click on resize this design. All right, great. That did it for me. Perfect. All right, so y'all just saw that it resized it just as I could I need. So I'm going to click on share because I need the flat image. So we're going to click on download and we're going to save these as PNGs. Click on download. All right, so once this has downloaded, we're going to go back to Canva and then we can click on create a design and then click on custom size and we're going to switch this to inches and I need to be five inches by um, five inches by 72 or oh, five inches by 36. All right, click on create new design. Now, how we got 36 is 72 divided by 2 equals 36. So, that's how we got 36, okay? Because the stoles, as y'all can see, they come, and you can go on Amazon and you can see this for yourself, but stoles come in 72, 60, and 50. So, if you're doing 60 inch stole, 60 divided by 2 gets you 30. Y'all see them numbers right there, all right? So now what we're going to do, we got a little design here or a template, open up my folder and we're going to download both of these, drag them over to Canva. And then once they are dragged over, we can add our first design. We're going to go ahead and stretch it out. Now it's very important that you have this ruler tool here. So in order to get this ruler, you're going to click on file. You're going to click on view settings and then uh, click on show ruler and guides, right? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, if we click up here at this top, y'all see how you get this purple, this purple line. So 
she has a 13 by 19 she okay her her printer is 13 inches wide but the paper that she's using is 13 by 19 so this is what we're going to do for our example so we're going to click up here at the top and then we're going to bring this down we're not going to do 19 because we need some extra room some extra wiggle room so we're going to do 13 by 18 when i well no 18.5 so if y'all look over here to the right hand to the left hand side y'all see the number y'all see on the left hand side it's like a number right here right now it's say 5.1117 so we're going to go until it's say i don't like this being in my way sorry let me stretch this out all right, click up here and then we're going to do 18.5 now once you start doing this more and more and more you realize like 18.5 18.7 like it don't matter but to be on the safe side we're going to do 18 make sure that we get to 18.5 okay now all right so there go our line right there so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and click on our picture and then we're going to stretch that up there at the top so that's one right now we can duplicate this again and then we can um now what we want to do is just for demonstration purposes y'all um just go ahead and I'm just going to do this just so y'all can understand. We're going to delete that. We're going to go back to our uploads, add the same design, and then stretch this out again. Now, what I want to do, because I want my, when I print this out, I want mine to overlap a little bit. So all I'm going to do is just come up here to the top, bring this down, I can zoom in just to see what I'm doing. And, okay, I just want my stuff to overlap like that. So, now, when I go and I do my printout, my cut, my printouts will then overlap one another. And y'all should know what to do after this. If you don't know what to do after this, <laughs> let me know and I will show y'all. So, after you've um, cropped the images right um uh, what you can do all right so what you're going to do y'all you can click on resize and magic switch and then do custom size up to 13 and then by 19 the reason why i'm doing 13 by 19 is because she said that her printer is 13 inches wide and her paper is going to be 13 by 19. so if you're using like um a smaller printer such as the regular paper size you would switch the width to 8.5 and then the height to 11. but let's go ahead and proceed then we're going to click on continue make sure that you click on copy and resize and then click on open 13 by 19. so as y'all can see like this very first one that's the correct size so if i click on position um actually it's not the right size so if i click on position you see this size right here but that's not right so we need to go back to our design click on this one go to position and we need to do 18 by I'm sorry, 5 by 18.58. So we're going to do 5 by 18.58. And then for this next one, the smaller one, we're going to do 5 by 17.64. Gonna click on position. 5 by 17 point what size did I say 17.64 all right and then bring that up so I'm gonna just show y'all just for design purposes or just so y'all can see for example if I draw this up here When I go to press, I'm going to align my design. So y'all see, it's seamless. 
obviously when you put the two pieces together it'll be the full thing but yes y'all i hope this really helps um save you some time so just to recap what you're going to do you would um let me delete these just so y'all can see you're going to open up and you're going to create a new design you're going to create a new design this one is going to be for the 72 inch um the 72 inch stole so you if you divide 72 by 2 you get 36 so you do 5 inches by 36 then you would go to your stole um y'all remember we did our design we downloaded the design and then after we downloaded it we added um we downloaded it as png then we uploaded it to canva and here it is so we're going to click on our design then we're going to stretch it out like this right and then what you want to do is let me move this out of the way so then you're going to click on file then you're going to go to um uh file oh view settings and then show show rulers and guidelines click on that you should get this ruler up here you're going to click up here at the top and then you want to go until you see 18.5 let me move this out of the way so 18.5 you don't have to do 18.5 but that's what i'm doing because i feel like that's what's most comfortable all right so 18.5 Oh, yeah, I want to be hard. All right, we're going to stick with 18.56. Then we're going to click on here, resize this here. Then what I can do, I can click on Command D if I wanted to duplicate. We're going to then stretch this piece back out. Move this back up here at the top. Then what we what we want to do is click on the design. We can click on the design and then we can bring it down let's zoom in because we don't need our overlap to be that big so that's definitely fine like something like that and then what we can do is so then we're going to click on resize and magic switch click on custom resize click on 13 by 19 mine is already preset then i can click on continue and then click on copy and resize. Do not click on resize this design. You're gonna mess up. So click on copy and resize. Click on open 13 by 19. As we can see, these are not the right sizes. So this first one we need, which is at the top, click on it, click on position. Um, as we can see, it's 18.53. Uh, click on position, change the width to five, change the height to 18. Point five three. That's that one. Now we're going to click on this. One. Click on this one now here. Click on position five by seventeen point six four. So we need to change this one to. I wonder what happened if we click on lock and we switch switches five. Okay. Is that right, y'all? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. So that's something else that you can do. Now, when you're printing these out, y'all, make sure that y'all are putting these in. Don't put it right at the edge because if you put it right at the edge, you know there's a little bit of margin room. So make sure you have it kind of in the center. But one size should be smaller than the next because when you overlap. All right, y'all. So I really hope that this video helps out a lot. I really do. I really do. If you need help, let me know, but I really hope this helps. I will talk to y'all later.